Hi everyone, Johnny here working on my film study skills, and today I'm looking at Tenshin Nasukawa versus Kamandoi Petrarambit from Ryzen 26. In this first sequence, I wanted to highlight Tenshin's half step, or what I would call a dash entry, using it to cover the distance and enter into his strikes. I wanted to put it side by side with Ryu from Street Fighter, as this is what I thought of when reviewing this entry. Tenshin actually feints with his lead foot before dashing in, entering offbeat and explosively covering the distance. The disruptive nature of the entry puts Komondoi on the back foot as he looks to readjust his positioning. It's also relevant to note that Tenshin is very controlled with his strikes, able to return his front kick and go straight into the switch head kick, forcing an angle change and a reset. On the flip side, Komondoi displays plenty of sound defense in this fight as well. In this next sequence, Tenshin utilizes the same style dash entry, but opts to feint with the lead hand, drawing the lead hook counter from Komondoi, and then, framing with his rear hand, Komondoi launches a rear round kick which is intercepted by Tenshin's rear check, bouncing him off balance. The dash entry is very versatile, and Tenshin also blends in his angle changes and feints seamlessly. In this sequence, he obtains outside foot position, angle changes, and draws a defensive reaction from Komondoi. Layering in his feints, this next sequence demonstrates Tenshin's ability to draw out his opponent's reactions and counter effectively. He enters with the dash and feints with both his lead hand and his rear hand before switching to a long guard to stifle the hook counter and landing his kick before Komundai can follow up with his own rear kick. If you haven't already seen this fight, be sure to check it out and look out for how Tenshin is able to catch and counter of Komundai's rear kicks, utilizing the dash to close the distance and counter. Tenshin utilizes his rear arm as the block and brings his lead hand as the undercook for the cross catch. This allows him to draw Komundo's leg across whilst loading up the lead hook. In addition to this, having drawn both the check and the high guard out of his opponent, Tenshin steps through to allow him to kick the rear leg, drawing a sweep from this exchange. When reviewing it from a second angle, you can really see how good Tenshin's positioning is in this sequence. An alternate way to counter the round kick is by sweeping the arm over the top as opposed to catching underneath. And although the kick was to his legs in this sequence, Tenshin can still return fire with his counters despite the kick landing to his inside thigh. I highlighted this example as you can see how Tenshin keeps Komundo occupied by landing shots on his hands and that ends the exchange with a powerful kick as the exclamation mark. In these last few sequences, I put together a mixture of underhook catches and sweeping over the top defences to the round kick. I hope you've enjoyed this striking focus film study and I also wanted to give props to Lawrence Kenshin for introducing Tenshin to me many years ago in his own striking breakdowns. If you haven't seen them, don't forget to check them out as well. Thanks for watching.